and then we go back every week. The only thing which is important to remember, which is going to be one of your, not your problem, is this that for every kilowatt, for, for every kilowatt you consume, if you set your system the right way, with the right power consumption in the house, you can put up to a kilowatt onto the national grid. Pardon? Yes, it's your personal donation to your government. They'll never pay you. The possibility is that if you gear it the right way, you can do up to 200 times per kilowatt. What you got to remember, this needs time because if you remember in the teaching of this morning, we told you, you have to nanocode the wiring in the house. This way, you are nanocoding the wiring of the government. Actually, it's not government, it's you, you paid for it. Power lines are national assets don't belong to no one. If they ask you, why have you done this? This is my share, I paid for it. I only pay for the top layer, nano layer is mine. And then, when do it, this is a superconductor. And you find out, you'll be neighboring your neighbors and neighbors and the neighbors and the neighbors. You are not releasing AC current into the grid, you are releasing plasma current into the grid. And if anybody tells you it's illegal, it says the thunder and the lightning does it freely. Have you ever seen anybody taking a thunder and lightning to the court? They can take it to court as well. Because it's what happens naturally when you have thunder and lightning, and it gets the main line, it doesn't blow the fuse all the time, the ionization by the plasma is so much that the grid can't take. This way you are doing it naturally. You'll find out very soon, you or your nation will have no power supply units as power stations. Because this is the work. The, the faster a nation gets into this and completes it, the faster you become free from energy and food. Because you go to the squares, they can put the same units and you all walk around happily ever after. You have all the energy you need to eat.